Here are the basics for the new all um, digital readout for the Acer Lace. Basically, to start with, you have inches and millimeters. So as you can see right now, it's in inches. If I hit this button, it goes to millimeters, and you see the display change. There are two sets of axes, the absolute and the incremental. So right now it's an absolute, so that's where you would set normally like your part diameter and the Z-face length. There might be a case where you uh, are coming over and you're cutting a certain amount in Z. You want to stop at that value there. And now you, your print shows an incremental value for the next diameter. So maybe we'll move our diameter out and we'll go to an incremental move we can zero this at any time, so if I want to hit this Z, zero, incremental, now I can move it over incrementally, some value. If I go back to absolute set, you'll see that these values, the absolute value still stayed there, nothing was changed. We just incrementally moved 76 and 4 tenths of the thousands there. To set the values, you have a zero and a set. Right now it's at set. So when it's there, if you want to say change our x value, say I took a cut on the part and it measures at 0.5, I just have to hit this key here for our x and then 0.5 and enter. And now it's there. If I want to simply zero the, an axis, I could go ahead and hit the zero. And when I hit one of these keys for the z axis here, it will just automatically zero it. Another nice feature on this is the calculator. So if I hit the calculator function here, it says calculate. If I just want to bring in a value that's already there, I can just hit this key here and it will automatically bring in that half inch. And then I just tell it what I want to do from there, say times pi and enter, and there's my value. Unfortunately, there's no way to copy that and paste it into one of these cells. All it does is take a value from here down to the calculator, but not the other way around. And that's about it.